Welcome to my channel, Starstruck Rambler here, and today we're going to use Google Earth to look at Ludwig's a bit and its railways. And um, already, as you can see, we're zoom we're zoomed in on part of it. Um, yeah, I've decided that I'm going to use Google Earth over a street map um, because I just think it's um, I think it's a bit better in showing our railway. Um, if you guys want, maybe at a later point, I can go through the street names itself. But right now, we're going to focus on the railway. And um, I'm going to zoom in a bit more. Because I know some of you asked, um, for, for example, where the locomotives for example turn and um, a view of the street street map and the railway itself as well um if you want the street names then um i'll go through a street map at a later point maybe in another video um, but today we're going to check out the um, railway. Um, for example, one of the points where I um, sometimes um, record it is um, like over here at this um, at this point over here. Um, Uh, I'll go back to Ludwig in a moment. Um, now it might not so look like much here, but um, but uh, but um, on Google Earth it looks a bit um, as if it's buried. Yeah, here's the location where I sometimes record outside of Ludwig, and. Um, yeah, here's our airport. Uh, currently shut down. Currently, it's um shut down at the moment. And um, yeah, here it looks as if it's um the railway looks as if it's completely gone. Uh, where's the one point? Ah, here it is Grasplatz. Um. Okay, I don't think if you can see it, um, where is it now? Okay, I don't think you can see it from here, but um, Grasplat should be about over here. I think you can, no, that's not it, where is it? Well, gosh damn it, where is that building? Um, but it should be around about here. But um, the other day I um, wanted to show you a video of the train passing by over here at this corner just before Grassplatz where they were working on the dunes because of all the wind that we had that day um, but um, the train stopped roughly over here because over here it was covered in sand and they were busy taking away the um, sand but um, yeah let's go back to our original starting area uh, here's Commons Corp um, just a quick um <coughs> yeah, just a quick view of it. Um yeah, this is a rather old one, um uh, because this is, as you can, guys can see, um there's a whole lot of cars, but that was still um from earlier this year when they were still busy when there was still a lot of um tourists coming in and before Probably before our main um, lockdown. Yeah, from 2018. 
um, over here is the um, main main building, um, basically the town center at the time. And like for example, over here you had like a bakery, for example, and um, an ice house. Uh, then you had a few normal houses over here. Then over here. Okay, wait. One moment before I get there. This used to be the swimming pool. Um, one moment. Okay. If my voice sounds a bit weird, yeah, it's because of my microphone. It, the speakers that I'm using, it makes my voice sound a bit weird. But anyway, um, this used to be the swimming pool back when it was still being used as such. Um, and this over here is the hospital. At that time, they basically had everything in it. X-rays and all the modern equipment that they had at that time. And by modern, I mean by, um, for example, 1912 standards. Today, they'd be outdated. But for that time, um, it was one of the most advanced hospitals at the time for our area, possibly even um, better than most hospitals in Germany or the US, for example. Um, yeah, I'll try. Okay, the, oh, and um, over here, um, at the time, um, the railway, part of the old railway back at the time, Ah, back in the day, used to run um past here. You can just see um some of the um old um one of the old trains that they had from back then. Um, but it's not really good quality. But um, they they there's this um. Gosh, I'm confused today, but um, they have some of the old wagons and the railway wagons from back then over here. Um, maybe in my next video when I go do go through the street names and such, um, street map, um, in the next video, maybe I'll see if I can get a picture of that. But yeah, it ran... Basically, the whole way here, part of it used to run then over over here. But yeah, um, let's go back to. Um, just have to make sure that I don't go past it. Uh, here we go. Yeah, um, for those. For the one person who asked where they wanted, where they turn, the locomotives. This is it. Um, when come when they when the when the lo trains come in, um, and they want to and they go back out, you know. Um, one moment. Um, when they want to go back to um Kietman Suop they come in turn here they go up here go back down reverse go back to the um to this platform to this platform here um yeah this is what where this is where our um runs usually end yeah it's um it's quite a distance from where we usually stop with the car to where they turn over here and yeah it's quite a um 
quite a bit of the station before they built the new railway there was there was just this one line over here the other three lines here next to it that didn't exist this platform here didn't exist either so um yeah this is our um SPCA area if you even want to call it an SPCA yeah this I actually feel sorry for the animals here I really do that they even call themselves an SPCA I don't know but I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go there that's not the main focus of our video today so we're gonna go back into Gudrat. Ah, back in um, as a side note, while we are going in, this whole or at least most of the lagoon back in um, two thousand and six was underwater. From the wall over here up to up to basically here was completely underwater. Some of the houses here underwater. Um back in two thousand six in just one week we had a hundred and fifty millimeters. One hundred and fifty. The river that runs past um that runs past the road here that come over here. The catchment area starts roughly over here. It flows down here under the road here, here and here, then over here uh, I'll see if um Okay, let's see. Um Ah, here we go. Um over here there was a catchment dam that used to hold the water when it uh, when it rains, but in two thousand six it was completely overwhelmed. On the first day we had 50 millimeters, 5050, and the river came in full with full force into the dam, completely overwhelmed it, destroyed most of it, flowed through this housing area, through the buildings over here, and into the pan over here. And it's it stayed in the pan here for months because it couldn't um it couldn't flow um underground because it's barely above sea level and couldn't evaporate either fast enough. So eventually um they made a hole over here to let the water out, but eventually they closed it again because once the water flowed out water started flowing back in every time we had a um, spring time so back to the railway it goes in here uh, yeah here's my other stop where I usually make a video this is the Helen van Rijn School. Um, this used to be our um, this used to be our um, sport area. Uh, you can still see some of it over here. So railway goes past here, and um. Yeah, here's my other area where I usually um, 
desktop where I usually make videos. Over here is the um, presentation where I work and make the ringing where where we ring the church bells every week. So yeah, well, um, as you guys know, the um, railway splits into two here. Um, back in the nineties, before they um took out the old railway it, it just used to be one railway um that um serviced um um yeah, need to get my thoughts back in on on prayer um here's the thing the railway didn't split it just came in and then Eventually, somewhere around um, here, or so, roughly over here, it split. That's where it split. One went down into the harbor. We'll get there just now. The other one go went into um, the railway station over here. Um, it used to be a whole lot more extensive than this, but Way back then, way back when, very early 90s, I think 1990, I think, 90, either 1990 or 91, um, it actually did have um, two railways, it did actually have two railways like what we see today, but then for some reason they took out the one railway, up to where it then split over here for some reason but um yeah okay currently today there are two locomotives standing roughly over here they are gonna come in with the rest of the train tomorrow here's our post office the trans number trans station over here then um this is the um, building where they used to keep the locomotives when they were stay when they went had to stay here overnight, and then um, as you guys can see, um, it splits off again here. Uh, goes one part goes over here, and then part of it comes back here. Um, I have to see if I can get a old picture of the old, very old. Um, station um, and compared to what it's like today uh, but from um, from that old photo um, one of the rails not only went here but also it split off again somewhere around here going into this section over here and back in the 90s with the old railway um, um, okay, it's a bit blurry, but this over here is where they used to turn the uh, the um, locomotives by hand. Um, back in the holiday, back back with the old railway, uh, when I was still schooling over over here by the old Helen van Rijn school over here. Um, during the holidays, I would go down here. Uh, watch the train. Watch the trains do their thing, and sometimes they um, let me help. Uh, for example, turn the locomotives over here, and um, yeah, this platform, for example, um, that was built over the last twenty. That was built about twenty years ago, and. Um, should we get passenger trains again one day, um, we could use this platform for that. Maybe um, one day that could maybe um, that could maybe extend the platform to roughly over here, maybe uh, possibly uh, this over here is. Um, 
that is a passenger wagon that was abandoned uh, way, I don't know how many years ago, but that was, it's been standing here for, for over 20 years now, basically since they removed the old railway back in the late 90s, uh, 98 or 99 if I remember correctly, <sighs> yeah, but, but then, but now, back to the railway, um, this is OK Grocers, railway goes past here, and, yeah, OK, um, I know, OK, I'm not allowed past this point, so most of my videos, um, that I make have to be out on this side of the gate, so, it goes past the gate here. Oh, while I'm on the subject, um, the old railway. Okay, I don't think you can see it so well in this old picture here, but, um, no, I don't think so. It's gonna get, it's getting really blurry already, but, um, the old railway. Uh, extended. I think you can just barely see see it here. It goes over here. Then it splits over here. Then it goes over here. See, it splits there and there. Goes over here all the way to here. Now. If I can get inside the harbor area, maybe one day I'll make a video of that, but right now I'm not allowed. But, yeah, the, I think you can, I think you can just barely see, see it over here, because it used to run over here. Part of it, part of the railway went like this, then, um, yeah, it, it basically went on the more or less on the same um, line like today, but then part of it split off over here. It like went over here like this, you know, like over this here. Then where the building is here now, it then that's where it then went into the quay over there. But the days railway right, goes over here, and this is where it again splits off a little bit. Part of it goes over here, and over here. Okay, I don't know. Um, some of these buildings are are in a, are in terrible condition. Um, they could have maybe. I don't know, um, maybe, no, I don't think that would have worked, I don't think that would have worked, because I was thinking now, maybe they could have, um, extended this line over here, through, maybe over here, no, that wouldn't have worked, no, that would not have worked. No, no, forget that part. But, um, yeah, then goes off over here. Okay, with the splitting off and extending, maybe this side it could have worked. Um, see, here it goes off a bit more, but, um, maybe here they could have, um, maybe extended it either over here. Or maybe made it a double. Uh, here's what I'm thinking. They could have extended it over here to this side, maybe. Up to here, maybe. Then made another one. Then split it off again, this side. Um, 
maybe may, maybe extend the next to the other line again uh, and then maybe reconnect over here and that's what I'm thinking or um, either reconnect it over here or um, some uh, reconnect or they could have um, made it like this, made it connect over here, reconnect to this side. Um, okay, make one line over here, make the second line over here, reconnect on this side, reconnect it on this side, on the other line, because as you can see, it um, connect it um, splits off into two again here. So I so what I was thinking, um, make the second line connect to this part, to this line over here, then read, then connect it to this one here, and then maybe um, make a turn over here, make a turn or make it backtrack to this side. You make a turn here, make a turn, see, turn it here, turn it over here like this, then, then maybe, um, make a, make another connection here to this side, so that there's like a whole second line over here. Now, why am I always confusing the two lines? Or possibly they could have maybe made a line over here, make a turn over here, make it cross the road here, then you know make a make a second line there, make a turn there, make a turn there, and then make a line up to the end there again. So, I know the quality isn't that good with the railway right now, but um, since I've, um, since it's relatively old, um, it's the best I have to work with right now. Uh, here's Shark Island, which is, which has been closed since June. They were supposed to open multiple times and everything is just going down to crap over here. It the plants are just dying. It just I don't know. I don't know what's going on there anymore, but um I hope that was okay up to standard. If not, let me know. Um if you want a street map um, with the street names, uh, let me know. Now here's Nestotel. Um, it's one of our one of many hotels and um, hotels and bed and breakfast and I don't know what else we have here. We've got so many um, places to stay here. Um, currently, uh, where is it? Currently, over here, they're building another another bed and breakfast area. There's one. Um, I wrong direction. There's one over here. Also, where you can stay, uh, slash eat. Uh, there's where, where else? Um, uh, there, there's so many, I don't even know where to start. Uh, here's our stadium. Um, here's the, um, a bit, um, slightly poorer area. Areas. Um, here's our grave 
grave says that one of our graveyards as well. Um, yeah. Uh, it's some of the graves are from like uh, really old, from from the late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. Um, uh, some of these graves are really old, and from the two thousand and six rains that we had, some some are no longer in such a good condition anymore especially the especially the older ones there there's no one to um first of all the their families um i don't even know if they still have families alive today somewhere out in the world i don't know um but some of the older ones um there's no one here that I know of that's taking care of them and with the relatives for example and there's almost no one um doing upkeep on the graves in the graves uh, graveyard itself and um oh. Uh, yeah, this is where my great great where my great grandma used to live. Um, oh, I had such a wonderful uh, childhood there. Oh wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, sorry, wrong house. Um. I think no, yeah. Gosh, I'm confusing myself. Um, yeah, yeah. This is where my great grandma used to live, and um, okay. No, wait. I'm confusing myself here now. Um, see, mm, wait. Yeah, I'm definitely confusing myself there. Um, it's been so long since I was there. Um, but um, here's where we live. Yeah, this is where we live, and um, it's actually not that far from where I used to go to school over here. And not that far from the railway station either. Um, so if you want a um, proper uh, street map of Lutheran, just let me know, um, and I'll and I'll give and I'll go through it, go through that as well. And. Here's Agatha Park. Here's Dream Valley. Um, now it's called that because the water that flows from the sewage treatment plant here flows through through it here, and which attract which um makes it relatively green more throughout the year, which also attracts oryx, springbok. The water flows down here into the pan over here, but um, most of the water that comes into the pan here actually comes from the water from the ocean through underwater, not underwater, underground cracks, um, through underground seepage, and part of it, part of the water actually comes from um, the Koicha pan area underground as well. So the amount of water that comes from the sewage treatment plant is um, perhaps 
is way under one percent. And on about this time of year, there's a lot of flamingos in this pan over here. Um, in 2006, the pan after the major rain that we had was so large that it basically extended all the way to the um, sand road over here. And you can just barely see it over here. Yeah, this this pan over here extended all the way, almost all the way to the road here. And if you go a bit further over here, you get to Agate Beach, which is re a really, really awesome beach. Uh, you can basically walk all the way from the bottom here to the top here, uh, basically all the way up to this rock formation over here. That's as far as you can go because um, there's this. Um, okay, you can't see it but properly, but there's this like boundary over here that extends all the way to over here, and you're not allowed to cross it. See, on the other side is um, Sperrgebiet, and if you go there and they catch you, you're in trouble. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna, yeah, no, but um, yeah, it's actually a really good swimming beach as well because um, the because the water is relatively shallow. Okay, on this part here, on the on the southern end here by the mountainside, um, it's a bit steeper, but as you go further north, it um, shallows out a bit, and you can actually um, you can actually walk quite far from the beach and still be relatively in shallow water. Um, Yes, Penguin and Seal Island. Yes, Shark Island. Uh, Angra Point over here. Uh, Shearwater Bay is over here. Then um, here's Dyer's Point, but you co won't be able to see the. And then it's just it's creeping up a bit. But yeah. Over here is um, the Dyer's Cross as well. Uh, over here is um, a small seal colony. Then over here, on this side, oh, let's see. Let's see over here is our old lighthouse. There's one on um, Shark Island as well. I think you, I think I've see, shown it one or other time and while I'm while I'm at it while I'm still here okay let's see yeah I think you should be able to see it over here then over here are the remnants of um, an old bridge that used to stand here that was blown away in 2015. Here at Dice Course Point, Dice Point, they we registered a hundred and twenty-five kilometer per hour wind, which blew away most of the bridge here. Um, and you can just barely see the remnants over here and over here. Then if you go a bit further south, just a bit, uh, where's it now, ah, here, here we go, um, here's Halifax Island, normally you're only allowed, um, only, the only people who are allowed on it are the penguin researchers, 
um, as you can see, um, here are, as you can see, there are some of these buildings here. That is where the where the um, people used to live and work to gather the um, guano. Uh, guano is basically well, bird shit. <laughs> yeah, sorry for that, but yeah, that's um, that's unfortunately what guano is, bird shit. And um, yeah, if, for now that's about it. Um, if you want. So um, oh yeah, while I'm on it, um, while I'm on the subject here, um, normally in October, November we have our um, kite surfing and sea and um windsurfing event over here. Um, the kite surfing windsurfing event used to take place over here. But um, a few years ago, we built a channel over here, so that so that it um so ah, so that it's a bit smoother for them to make those records. No, it's because um between August and February is our wind season, and we can have sometimes for weeks on end really strong wind um, and if they when they start in the mornings by by about 10 o'clock you know by 10 o'clock let's say they start at 8 by 10 o'clock they've broken several records along this um, channel here and um while I'm here as well, you guys remember the two thousand and four tsunami, right? Um Yeah, it um came to us as well. Um Yeah, along the East African coast it um caused quite a lot of damage, but here it went by almost un un unaffecting basically um un or unnoticed almost if you were standing along here you wouldn't have noticed it if you were standing over here you wouldn't have noticed it but as soon as it started coming along the coming in along the bay here that's where you will have started noticing it see over here um there were a few fishing boats uh, which are now some of which are now anchored in the harbor, but at that time they were they were anchored off in the channel here, uh, in the middle of the um, bay here it goes up to seventy meters down downwards, um, yeah, it's, it's at places it can go down quite steeply like over here. Um, this is one section where you first knee deep in water, ju then just a few steps further on, it goes down, it almost immediately goes down to 5 meters, very steeply inwards. So, because, the fa because of the fact that it's so deep here, and because of the narrowness of the bay, um the the tsunami was basically channeled into it uh part of it went uh, went in over here but caused minimal almost no flooding here but it kept going down here kept getting forced in into a smaller and smaller volume which meant that the wave height kept it going up at the front here it was barely noticeable but as soon as it started coming over here 
um, thanks we will reach about um, about a meter in height roughly um, now here's the thing my height is about one meter one eh, 1.57 meters and by me it will reach roughly by my hips which is just under a meter so yeah when it got it was just a tick under one meter and it flows all the way now remember guys from here now up to the road over here is about two kilometers roughly so it went all the way past the channel here all the way up to here then it now it would have stopped here if it weren't if it weren't so flat here either um it went over the road and then for another 50 or so meters it um, went over the road i think I think you should be able to see it over here. I my eye is itching. Yeah, I think you could be. I think you can still be able to see it even now. Like I, I could be wrong. I think I, I think I'm actually wrong on this, but it looks as if because um people went here after the tsunami hit. I could see that it flowed at least at least 50 meters behind the road and I think I think you can see it over here here basically this um, dark section over here I, I could be wrong but it looks like it could have I think this section that you see over here um, I think that's where it went over the road Possibly, but um, I hope this um, was okay. And like I said, sorry about if my voice sounds a bit weird. It's the microphone that I'm using. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, cheerios.